we have to find a suitable piece of metal laying around the shop somewhere. Hey, that's already painted. It's already got insulation on it. That was perfect. Welcome back to Jimmy's World. This is installing the JPI 830 part one. This airplane has not been an annual for 22 years. We are upgrading a ton of stuff. The avionics there, uh, installing some new wiring all throughout and a brand new engine monitoring system. And today we are going to start by creating the plate that everything is gonna mount to right there. And, uh, and then kind of work our way toward the front. So if you haven't already, hit subscribe so you can follow along on this journey of getting this hoopty airplane back in the air. And throw me a comment, let me know what you think, what you see, any other tips or tricks you know of to make your airplane ownership the best one ever. Let's do this thing. Step one, measure. About that far. Oh, it got stuck up there. There we go. and over there and about that far so it's that by that got it here's what we're using and then i've got setup up there and this one is really easy because it's just a rectangle we're going to cut that out and then we got to start getting our holes lined up and everything and then of course you pep and prep and paint and all that good stuff so let's jump into it finishes it up now I've got to order the little gain knob and get that in and drill the other hole and then we've got to prime it prep it paint it and then we can start mounting everything up to it so this is a great start all right installing the JPI to be continued day two of installing the JPI 830 engine monitoring system today we're gonna mess with some wires. First thing you gotta do is take out all the old stuff. So you can see all those wires running through there. And if you look over here, I've got all, this is the old stuff right here, the EGT and CHT stuff. And I do know that I'm gonna to have to, you know, another little grocery list of parts because the fuel transducer is gonna need some fittings and 
we're going to have to change up some hoses and there's probably going to be some T fittings and who knows what else as we dig into this. So that's why I'm pausing on the autopilot install because I've got a parts list of things I need already that's just little items. I'm going to go ahead and do this stuff because I know I'm going to have another list of little items that I'm going to need for that. And we're going to try a new setting on the camera, this time lapse thing, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, and today's sponsor, Caffeine Mountain. They didn't actually sponsor this. They, they probably don't even want their name associated with this, but hey, got to have Mountain Dew. Rule number one in the shop, turn the music on. Rule number two, have something to drink. That's just, when you're in a shop, that's what you got to do. All right, let's do this thing. <sighs> That's good stuff. what you got you got your you got your plugs over chair and your wires that went through there and some more that went along there and they came through here and ran through yeah. that right right through there so we just take our wire cutters we just chop them up I figure we'll just throw them on eBay sell them for 50 bucks I don't know how much I'll go for but sell them on there Try to recover some some do money. Now we get to install them and put. Uh, there we go. See the second hole. You gotta you gotta look for that hole. That's that's where the uh, the temperature probes go. There were so many dirty jokes that just went through my head right then. But I'm not gonna go there because you bunch of old perverts.
again, CHT, ABC, CNN, all that fun stuff. Those are all in and torqued. So now, let's start with some wiring. And luckily, we have full access right there. Bye-bye! So we just run those wires where the old ones went. And let's do some wiring. The very first thing I look at is grommets and making sure you can get all the wires through the fire the, the firewall. And when they have connectors on them like this already, this one doesn't actually go through the firewall. But when they do, it makes it a gigantic pain in the butt. So all of them, no connectors, which is good. Except for that one, which is the RPM sensor. And it's a big old fat gigantic connector. So that, I took the grommet out already, but it went into that. So that is nowhere close to the size I'm gonna need. So step one, get a bigger one. When you order the JPI kit, they ask you a bunch of questions, serial number, what options it has. One of the things they asked me was, does it have a factory CHT gauge? And I said, no. And reading through all the instructions and everything, it said if it does have a factory CHT gauge, you have to use this gasket and replace one of the spark plug gaskets with this gauge. And then after I put all the spark plug or the uh, CHT sensors on, there's only five of them. And I went, oh, that's why they included that one. So now I got to call them back and say, hey guys, you need to switch me out that. And you need to switch me out this RPM sensor as well. So there you go, neato. For the intake air temperature sensor, it goes on the elbow that goes into the fuel, uh, the air servo there. On the back side of the air filter, this is a non-turbo, so we don't have to worry about intercooler. And take it off and drill it so we don't get any metal shavings near the inside of the engine or any of that stuff. So we took it off, got our clamp, and I did have to make this clamp. It was a lot bigger than the one that came with it. So I just found the right clamp, drilled the right size hole, and drill it, and then stick it back on there. And I would have recorded this except for the battery and the video camera. The other one died. So now you get an up close and personal view. Oh my goodness. That's the most boring thing ever. Taking all these and you strip the wire, you crimp the wire, you put the little screw on, you bolt the thing, you tighten it up, then you do the other wire, and then you do the next one, and the next one, and then, oh my gosh, that was so boring. Oh, but all the EGTs, CHTs are done, the engine work is done. Got the oil temperature one put in up here. The, uh, this one goes to the, the RPM sensor here. I can't do that because I gotta wait on that. This one right here goes to the fuel transducer and I still gotta mount that in the back and get the other hose for that. I got the ground done, it has to go to the engine. And then on this side, all your CHTs, EGTs, and we're missing the one CHT down here. So I've got that coming. I did talk to them and I, I realized that on the actual order form itself, they showed that I was supposed to get the other RPM sensor. So somebody didn't double check what they were doing when they put stuff in the box. So that one was on JPI. And they, I don't know where the miscommunication happened, but this sensor right here for that cylinder head temperature, not the gasket one, uh, for whatever reason, I ended up with that one. And they were really awesome, easy to deal with. They just said, yep, we'll send it out to you. We'll put a return slip in the box. And then when you get those, just send the other ones back. Really thankful for that. So should have that here in just a couple days. I think they're, they're somewhere here on, no, they're in California. So it might take, you know, five days maybe. Oh my goodness. Next time we're going to, we got to put another hole in the panel for the switch that goes to that. And then we have to wire up down here. Our outside air temperature is going to go over there on the outside of the airplane down there. And then over here, the oil pressure 
sensor is gonna go up there, tee into the oil pressure line right here. And then there was something else, the, whatever, what was the other one? There was something else, I forget. My brain's kind of toast at the end of the day here. But there's another sensor that goes down here. Oh, the uh, map sensor for the manifold, for the manifold uh, pressure. So we got to tee into that line. Now, thankfully, they actually provided all the hardware to tee into the to the manifold pressure. So that was nice. But I do have to get hardware for the fuel system and the oil uh, pressure system. There you go. Other than that, this was honestly a pretty easy thing to put in. Hook up the, uh, the hot wire, got the ground done already. So yeah, sweet man, this was, this could have been without the videoing if I would have started at the very beginning of the day and had all my stuff. I think somebody could get this whole thing installed in one day. It's, it's, it's going pretty quick, pretty easy. Sweet, all right, see you next time.